What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you guys can see, I am back home again, not for good, but I am back home just for a little while. And I'm filming today's video something a little bit different. I'm going to do 10 facts that you guys don't know about me. So, with that said, let's get today's video started. Let's roll the intro, sit back, relax, give the video a like and a comment down below. Let's get today's video started. So throughout today's video guys, what I'm going to be doing is just pretty much going around about, whoa, pretty much just uh, going around about my normal day, I'm going to be cooking dinner, I'm probably going to be training a little bit later, but that may or may not be in this video, and I'm going to be answering these 10 questions that you guys do not know about me. So, the first question is, what was your first car? And to be honest, it was a pretty standard, it was a really nice car, I, I actually don't have it anymore, uh, long story short, that's for a different video that I'll go into that at some point. Actually, OG subscribers might know, but they, they might not. Anyway, my first car was a Vauxhall Corsa, it was kind of like a nice deep bluey colour and I went over, to, I, I'll always remember the day that I went over to get it, me and my dad went over, it was dark, we went for a little drive round in this car, I decided, you know what, it was pretty damn smooth and I'd passed my test a few days before and we just sort of said, yeah, you know what, this, this, this is a good deal, this is a good car, we got it uh, even cheaper than what we were supposed to and so, um, yeah, it was a great car, unfortunately I, I don't have it anymore but if I was to get another one I would probably have something similar, just a small, compact, economical car that's sort of, you know, friendly to, to a, a student's bank account, if you know what I mean. So, relatively cheap car that would just sort of do me for a few more years until maybe I'll go travelling somewhere, who knows. So the next question is, what are your talents? Now, I've got to kind of be careful not to sound really big-headed when I say this, but I'm quite, like, I'm quite sporty. If, if, if anything, if you were playing tennis, or like when I was younger I used to play tennis, I used to play rugby, I, I played cricket, I played pretty much anything I, if it was in season, then I would play it sort of thing. And I always found, especially when I was younger, I would kind of pick anything up relatively quickly, like I would give any sport any sport a go and it, I, it wouldn't phase me, I would just give anything a go, give it my all, and more often than not pick it up relatively quickly. So I would say that would be a talent of mine, I'm, I'm quite sporty. Other, other than that I would probably just say I'm quite creative with these kind of videos and stuff, like the mixes you guys see at the start of the videos and being able to sort of picture up, a, a lot goes into a YouTube video that you guys don't really see, you have to plan it as you're filming, you have to think, okay maybe I can put music towards this bit and maybe I can just use raw clips like there's a lot of things that you have to sort of keep on going along and to keep it different keep people like you engaged you have to be able to be a little bit creative and stand out and be a little bit different from the crowd so i would say they're just some talents that i have and i can do the rubik's cube i think that's kind of cool is it not cool charlotte just laughed at me after i told you guys that i can do the rubik's cube i think that's i think that's kind of cool i don't know many people that can do the rubik's cube <laughs> i just Come on! Did you get that? Yeah. Boom! Okay, so that dinner did not last very long at all. Another one of my amazing talents that I forgot to tell you guys was that I'm an incredible, incredible cook. So we just had, uh, we actually had grilled steak because we couldn't, we've got a new hob, we've got a new kitchen, nice new kitchen which you guys won't have seen before uh, and I have no idea how the hob works, as, as embarrassing as that is, it's one of these new things and so I, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So anyway guys, the next question is, what is your biggest accomplishment? And the one thing that I would probably say would be my sort of, my biggest accomplishment to date would be getting into uni and like, you know, really working hard at my, at my, uh, at my sports science course. If you guys have been subscribed to the channel for, for the whole time, you know, one of my first videos I explained that I'm doing a sports science course and then I'm going on to do sports education at university like I do right now and sort of, you know, just living by myself for what, well, over two years now, this is my third year at uni, living by myself, looking after myself, just the independence, going to uni, getting into uni, that whole kind of experience, that would probably say, I would probably say that would be my biggest achievement. But alongside that, I would have sort of, you know, this YouTube channel and the whole business side and the whole LSJ Fitness kind of things. Like, you guys have seen me over the past few weeks ship packages to America. Like, all over the world, people are actually buying you know, my, my, my clothing line and, and that, that to me again is really cool and just an amazing accomplishment and that is all down to you guys and I cannot thank you guys enough. So uh, with that said, let's move on to the next question. Oh, 
perks of being home, the beautiful little doggos. <laughs> So the next question is a little bit of an interesting one I would say and the reason I'm actually holding you guys just the camera as you guys can see there I would normally have it on a little tripod that is called a gorilla pod you can just get them from Amazon for like 30 quid and if you do YouTube or like you're into GoPros or just camera gear in general then they do come in very very handy and I would definitely recommend it and the question is what is the weirdest thing you have in your drawer and at uni, I have, like, it's the second drawer down, I have like a, a, a thing with all my GoPro stuff in there and, and every every bit of camera gear, all, all the chargers and everything like that, I have in there and I store this camera in there as well. That tripod looks a little bit strange. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit... <laughs> it's a little bit funny looking. I don't need to tell you guys exactly what it looks like. Uh, you guys can figure that out for yourselves, but you do get a fair few funny looks, especially when you're carrying around a camera for one, because at the end of the day, that's not necessarily a, a, a really normal thing to be doing. Uh, not not yet, anyway, but uh, especially when it's on top of one of these bad boys, you, uh, you get a few funny looks. Actually, a person in the post office actually asked me what it was, because she was concerned for, I think, my well-being carrying this around but anyway so that would definitely without a doubt be the weirdest thing in my drawer I've done the car I've done the Talent. talents I did weirdest item and I've done accomplishments okay no, number five number five I'm doing I need to be really I need to be quiet actually let me go in the kitchen okay so these next two are gonna be real quick ones number five we actually worked out is favorite sports team now for me I have lots of different sports like I said earlier on in the video I actually played a lot of different sports I like individual sports players which then led me to support one sports team so my favorite football team is Liverpool when I was a kid I used to like individual players and I liked Steven Gerrard and Michael Owen they both at that time when I was a little kid probably about I don't know five or six years old they both played for Liverpool and so I ended up supporting Liverpool supporting everything that Liverpool did being happy when Liverpool won and sad when Liverpool, you know everything the roller coaster that goes along with supporting your favourite team um, I experienced with Liverpool and then I just got to an age where it got too late to change and now Liverpool is my team so um yeah that's the little bit of a story behind that I like these kind of videos where you guys can get to know me a little bit better and question six is Tell us about your pets. <laughs> so, this right here is Flick. What are you Flicky? I call her Flickster sometimes, or Flicky, or anything along those lines. And this is Jessie. <laughs> Either Jess, Jessie, whatever. And these are my two Border Collies. We've had Flick for around about five or six years now, and Jessie for probably uh, two or three years, I think. So, uh, yeah. They are my beautiful little pups. One of the best parts about being home. Mwah. Question seven of 10 of things that you guys do not know about me is my guilty pleasure. Now that is uh, something that, yeah, everyone has a guilty pleasure, but not everyone admits to it, but it's part of this challenge and so I'm gonna do it. My guilty pleasure, if I'm being completely honest, is pink drinks. I'm, I'm a guy, right, I'm supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to have a beer with the lads and, you know, have a Stella and all of this kind of stuff and be, or, you know, macho and have a beer, but don't get me wrong, if there's a, if there's a strawberry daiquiri on offer, I will be having that drink because I tell you what, it tastes amazing and you may as well enjoy your drink rather than having a sip of a beer and going, mm, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's lovely, that is. Question eight is who is your best friend? And the truth is guys, I don't really have one best friend. I have lot, well, I have a few really close friends who support absolutely everything that I do and just are, I couldn't ask for any better. And to, but to be honest guys, I, I can't pick one. I cannot pick one best friend because they all support me in absolute, like with this channel, right? This, they have 
every right to sort of take the piss out of me for this channel and they do a little bit but only in a friendly kind of banter kind of way and that is what you want a best friend to do you don't want a best friend just to bullshit you all the time like you don't want a best friend to just tell you, you, you you're amazing at absolutely everything you know I ask for sound advice from these people and they know exactly who they are they're watching this video and thinking is he talking about me yes I, you, I am talking about you if you're even considering that it's you then yes it is you and I love you Mwah. But I cannot pick one of you alone as my best friend because you all support me. And that is what you guys have to find within yourselves. You have to find that support network, that friendship, that family, whatever it, whatever it is that's specific to your situation. Find that and you will always, always succeed. Whilst I'm actually still in here guys, we've got a couple new additions to the home gym and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've been following the channel for a while, we have had around about 160 kilos worth of weight and we had 220s and 225s, now we have 420s and 425s and I'm hoping at the day of filming this, this is Saturday right, I'm hoping that on Sunday I can hit my first 100 kg bench press and I've saved it. I know the science tells me that I'm ready to do it. 85 kg for three sets tells me that I am ready, scientifically speaking, to hit the 100 kg one rep max. So that will be the attempt tomorrow. On to the next question. Ooh, yeah. Number nine of ten, what is on your bucket list? Now for me personally, I have lots of different things, lots of individual things that I would love to do throughout my lifetime. The top of those in terms of places to go, which is the kind of thing that people usually say for this answer, would be to go to New York. That is the top of my list. It has been for years and I think it always will be until the day I finally go. But in terms of a long term, like I would love to go traveling somewhere, that would have to be Australia. Purely because there's just so much to do there. I've got family there that I can go and see and there's just so many cool things that you can do for a certain amount of time. Whereas I would love to just go to New York for a couple of weeks. I would love to stay in Australia for a couple of months at least. I feel like such an idiot. I'm just literally darting from room to room in the house just to keep this video interesting so I'm not just sat down talking to a camera. Because there's nothing I hate more than when people do that. I, I mean, I do it every now and then, but it's okay for a few minutes, not for a whole like 10, 12 minute video. So I'm just literally wandering around the house trying to get different backgrounds and stuff. Right guys, so number 10 thing that you guys did not know about me. Number 10, I'm actually really excited to talk about this because I've never really spoken about it. All my close friends and my family know and everything like that. But number 10 is what is LSJ. Now, as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, my name is Liam, but the channel is called LSJ TV. Now, why is that? LSJ is actually my name. My name is Liam Harold, but my full name is Liam Stewart Jerry Harold. So L S J Harold. TV, because LSJ TV is like watching TV, it's like watching my life, right? LSJ actually stands for Liam Stewart Jerry. Liam obviously my name, Stuart after my dad, and Jerry after my granddad. And so it kind of, I really like it because it puts a lot more meaning into this emblem right here. This thing I wear on my chest with pride, as I said in the last video, it puts more meaning into it. It's not just a random symbol that's imagined up. It's not just, you know, a random name that I've made up as a character. Like this is me, and this is my name, and this is family, this is what I stand for, this is happiness, this is joy, this is spreading and sharing life and positivity, this is that is what this is. I'm just a regular guy at the end of the day who shares life for everybody to see. At the end, like I, I put it on the internet for you guys to learn from, for me to look back on, for me to grow and, and just, you know, at the end of the day I started with a consistency series, didn't I? So it just got me and everybody else around me like a lot better on track and you know, I, I just, I kind of get a little bit worked up when I talk about it because it does genuinely mean something to me, guys. LSJ is, you know, it's not just me, it's my family. At the end of the day, like, I wouldn't be doing this right now if it wasn't for my dad. He's the S in LSJ. Jerry is my mum's dad and so I wouldn't be here without the J and, you know, I couldn't do it, LS, like, I couldn't do it without one piece would be missing. It would be a completely different jigsaw and this, this, uh, this is the puzzle that's, that's starting to come together nicely, guys. That was cringe, that was cringe. Anyway, so that is the meaning of LSJ and, uh, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing else to say guys. I'm, I'm kind of happy that I got to tell, tell you guys that because I've never really um, never really spoken about it before. Not, not properly anyway. So um, 
I want to thank you guys for watching today and let me know if you did enjoy it because it is a slightly uh, slightly different kind of video that's not really a traditional style of vlog it, this has just been literally a chance for you guys to get to know me and if you guys want to answer any of the questions be sure to do that in the comment section down below because I love 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 interacting with you guys that is one of the best things about YouTube the, uh, not even not even just YouTube just social media in general you get to talk to the people that follow you and you get to sort of you know make friends and like just live a completely different lifestyle to what you would without YouTube is it's, it's incredible guys it's, it's gonna be the new thing trust me it is going to be huge right that is the rant done and that is today's video done guys I'm gonna go off and edit this because it actually needs to go up in a few hours I want to thank you guys so much if you have made it this far drop it a like and a comment down below subscribe if you are new to the channel as always remember guys no regrets and I'll see you guys in the next video